Now that we have a basic process defined and we have work items uh, and understood how to how to customize the work items, layout, action, custom actions, and the rules. Uh, let us let us quickly look at uh, how to create a new project using the custom process and also understand a couple, two of the important uh, properties: the area path and iteration path, uh, which is which is uh, which is a very key property for your uh, planning and uh, work items. So, in order to create a new uh, project uh, using this process, you go to your organization and say new project. Let me give a, a new process project name of my of the project and then under advance you you have the option to select which is a process you want to use we created a demo process so i select demo process here and go ahead and create the project now when we go into once the project is created uh, when you go into the project, you will see the work item type, the deployment task created with the same, with a similar view, and uh, and the layout, the rules, everything is applied to this project and the work items in that project. So once once created, we will look at how to uh, how to create my teams, and, and then and then understand a bit about area path and iteration path. We, uh, parts which is linked which are related to a team uh, in a project now i have the project created here new process project now if you go in if we go into the work items and look at new work item you see the deployment task type which is part of the de our demo process now if i go into the demo task and try to create you will see the similar view of uh, let me go ahead and create a work item okay so i'll go ahead and create now if i go back and go into the work item here and this is the view that we get with respect to the work item that we created and you know you will be able to uh, uh, create a, any kind of work items now going back to the teams now when we create a new work uh, in in a project in the project settings you can go ahead and create multiple teams um, you will have a development team you will have the qa team uh, and 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 various other teams so uh, in order to uh, uh, manage these work items across the teams and the modules in the project you we have something called an area path now uh, now i have i'm going into the default team the new pro process uh, project team and if i go to iterations and area this is where you will define the areas of this team example if you have the development team the development team may work on the coding phase they may work on unit testing they may work on uh, various other uh, phases of del delivery or you know these can be your area parts now uh, i'm part of a development team but i work on the coding side i work unit testing side or you can define area parts based on the modules of your project so I, i'm part of a development team and this work item is related to the module let's say x to related to a module xyz or related to module uh, of of unit testing or development so area path will allow you to create the multi uh, fine tune or uh, create work items which can be uh, tracked at a granular level wherein i have a task for deployment task and in, in the deployment task i can have an area area for uh, manual deployment, uh, deployment validation, and things like those. So this is where I can create uh, 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 the work, the area path for the team. Now I can create, uh, let's say, uh, as I said, this is the deployment. Uh, this is the team level deployment team. So I'll say manual deployment, and then go ahead and create. So uh, other, uh, so if you see here, I was, I'm trying to. It is, it is not allowing us to. Uh, create a new uh, area path so that is because the area paths are created at the project level if i go to project configuration and go into area here i can create new child or you know multiple uh, area paths the by default the team 
uh, area path the name of the team will have the default uh, area path now you can create you know module one and uh, create let's say i'll create one more module two module two now here i've created a hierarchy of uh, three uh, area paths right now if i go back to the team and then i can configure i can i can select that particular uh, module let's say module 2 as part of this uh, team basically what what it means is you know this team uh, new project uh, process new process project team works on an area called module 2 example right so so you can basically define the areas of your project and then assign these areas to the to the team so what happens when the work items are created and the work items are linked to the uh, to the area path then automatically the teams the, the work item uh, will be viewed by the team uh, of who, who who work on those area paths so it becomes easy to manage and uh, and uh, uh, kind of auto assign the tickets to the team before, so that the team can pick up and assign them into the individual members or the developers or QAs and things like those. So this is a very important uh, uh, part uh, to understand and, and know how to configure where you, you and your team has to define the modules and, and map them to the area path, create them in the project level and then assign it to the teams in your project. Similarly, you can also define under project configuration, you can define iterations. Here we have sprint one, sprint two, we have multiple iterations. You can define those iterations and the dates and then go ahead and configure them uh, at, a, at a team level for each team. Example, you may have a sprint one for, for testing, sprint one, sprint two for development and sprint one for deployment, example. So you can, you can create those sprints at, at project configuration level and come back and assign those sprints to the teams which you have so that uh, at a project level you define the area paths you define the iterations and then you go ahead and assign those iterations and area path to individual teams so that uh, uh, when the uh, when you're tracking the project status team status yeah it, it becomes easy to manage and from the azure board's point of view Thank <laughs> you.